नमस्कार राज्यसभा टीवी के खास कार्यक्रम संसदीय वाद विवाद में आपका स्वागत है मैं हूं अरविंद कुमार सिंह संसद दरअसल पत्थर और गारे की एक महाज इमारत नहीं है बल्कि यह लोकतंत्र का है जीवंत मंदिर इस जीवंत मंदिर में देश की जनता की समस्याओं सरोकारों और बहुत सारी चुनौतियों पर बहस होती है और इसीलिए संसद के पहली बैठक के साठ साल के मौके पर हुई जीवंत बहस का पहला अध्याय तो आप देख चुके हैं इस एपिसोड में हम आपको दिखाएंगे दूसरा अध्याय माननीय सभापति जी नमस्कार स्पेशल सिटिंग टू कमेमोरेट द सिक्सटी एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द फर्स्ट सिटिंग ऑफ पार्लियामेंट ऑफ इंडिया सर डेमोक्रेसी बाय इट सेल्फ मींस टॉलरेंस Listening to the extreme criticism is the foremost quality of democracy. Sir, so this forum is meant for that. We debate, we discuss, we deliberate, and we decide on a consensus. Dr. C. N. Anna Dore, fondly and preferably called as Anna, was in this house and has contributed valuable deliberations which are in the annals of history. Sir, so in the year 1962. when the chinese aggression was there and when the country proclaimed an emergency he spoke on the resolution and in that he said very clearly we shall all march with one face whether to win one principle with one aim to safeguard the country from the aggressors but our founding fathers of this constitution and our leaders were relentlessly pursuing to institute a representative institution and they succeeded and history has proved very clearly that the pessimists are wrong the parliament has established itself as the most important institution of democracy in the country for the last 60 years the rajya sabha has maintained checks and balances on the lok sabha and vice versa and it is this fraternal bond and mutual respect shared by both houses that are reflective in the last passed by the indian parliament the last that have withstood the test of time sir i would like to say here proudly a couple of other two developments which has uh, happened in our parliament that's the introduction of the committee system and the televising of parliamentary procedures sir yes. another thing the public concern over the falls fall in ethical standards the abysmal attendance in the parliament and the dysfunction of parliament due to disruptions yes. is the concern of the people which yes. we have to address at the same time yes, the government the parliament and the nation has some challenges to confront which yes. are in the form form of poverty yes. corruption backwardness and along with that okay. communalism and yes. uh, sir one and terrorism oh. i would like to conclude with the quotation of uh, dr pandit jawaharlal nehru members of parliament are only mem- not only not only members of this or that particular area of india but each member of parliament is a member for india yes. and represents india sir yes. our parliament yes. has Hold turned on. 60 it okay. is neither tired nor okay. retired okay. thank, thank you. you thank you very much sri tari kanwa tari ji maximum 9 minutes aaj is mauke par hum logon ko ja hamari uplabdhiyan rahi hain वहाँ विश्लेषण करने की भी आवश्यकता है अभी इस बात को कहा गया कि यहाँ सदन में कई बार जो सदन का समय है उसका सदुपयोग हमने नहीं किया लगभग इन साठ सालों में तीस प्रतिशत जो समय है वो हमने नष्ट किया है हमने बहस करने के बजाय चर्चा करने के बजाय हमने उसको हंगामे में तब्दील करने की कोशिश की अगर हम अपने संसदीय व्यवस्था को मजबूत करना चाहते हो उपाध्यक्ष महोदय तो हमको कोई भी वाद विवाद हो कोई भी किसी बात का विरोध करना हो तो सदन में उस पर बहस होनी चाहिए चर्चा होनी चाहिए और तभी हम किसी निष्कर्ष पर पहुंच सकते हैं आज हमारे सामने कई चुनौतियां हैं भ्रष्टाचार का अपराधीकरण का आतंकवाद का उग्रवाद का सांप्रदायिकवाद का और ऐसी तमाम चीज़ों को हम लोगों को ये उपाय करना चाहिए कि उस पर किसी तरह अंकुश लगे श्री मंगला कृष्ण 
आज सात साल पार्लियामेंट का पूर्ति के उपलक्ष्य में हम लोग हीरक जयंती मना रहे हैं देश में 80 परसेंट जो पीपुल जो सिटीजन है वो सबसे पिछड़े हैं उसमें से शेड्यूल टाइप्स शेड्यूल कास्ट और जो वर्किंग क्लास जो पुअर सेक्शन जो वर्किंग क्लास है जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन व्यवस्था है पार्लियामेंट्री फॉर्म ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी है ये सेक्शन को उन लोग वेलफेयर देने के लिए कबील नहीं है अभी आर एक ठू नया प्रॉब्लम रिगार्डिंग द फेडरल सिस्टम स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स जो वगैरह हैं उन लोग का मान्य में दिवधा है और गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ गवर्नेंस जो सरकार चलाने के लिए देश चलाने के लिए जो अति अनिवार्य है उसका बारे में भी प्रश्न चिन्ह आम जनता का वोटर्स का माइंड में क्वेश्चन मार्क एराइज हो रहा है देश का सामने सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम है अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट करप्शन और नॉट गुड गवर्नर्स इसका बारे में इस सदन में चर्चा होना चाहिए आम जनता जो लिखा पढ़ा नहीं है जो मजदूरी करके जीते हैं जो जंगल में रहते हैं जो खेत खरियान में काम करते हैं उन लोग भी आज आज हम लोग का बारे में और ये सिस्टम का बारे में उन लोग क्वेश्चन लगा रहे हैं धन्यवाद मंगल कृष्ण जी धन्यवाद डॉक्टर वी मायत्री एन जी द ए डी एम के वॉज फाउंडेड बाई द लेट लेजेंडरी एम जी आर हु स्टैचू अडोर्स द लॉबी ऑफ राज्यसभा द इलेस्ट्रियस सन ऑफ तमिलनाडु पेरजर अन्ना इज द गाइडिंग स्पिरिट ऑफ माई पार्टी बींग मास लीडर्स फ्रॉम अ रीजनल पार्टी बोथ अन्ना एंड मैडम फॉट इन दिस हाउस सेवरल टाइम्स ऑन द राइट्स एंड एस्पिरेशन ऑफ द स्टेट वाट अन्ना स्पोक इन डिसंबर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी थ्री वॉज कोटेड बाई डॉक्टर पुरक्षी तलेवी द वर्किंग ऑफ द फेडरल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ऑल दिस इयर्स हैज क्रिएटेड अ सेंस ऑफ फ्रस्ट्रेशन इन द माइंड ऑफ द स्टेट्स द स्टेट्स आर फास्ट बिकमिंग डोल गेटिंग कॉर्पोरेशंस दे फील दैट दे आर रिलीगेटेड टू द बैकग्राउंड एंड देर इज दिस वेरी नेचुरल इंस्टिंक्ट इन दम दैट दे शुड बी गिवन मोर पावर इट इज हाई टाइम दैट एज वी कंप्लीट सिक्सटी इयर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट्री डेमोक्रेसी Rajya Sabha being a council of states should undertake a serious relook on center state relationship and cooperative federalism Rajya Sabha also known as council of states as part of the parliament is essentially an assembly to discuss debate reflect and articulate the aspirations and problems of people and seek their redressal through the government however it has been experienced that members particularly those belonging to smaller parties and the nominated ones do not get enough time and opportunity to raise the voice of people i therefore on this occasion by a suggestion would like to raise this issue so as to evolve such a mechanism which facilitates members get enough opportunities to speak out their mind in a free and open manner without the fear of the chairperson ringing bells reminding them to wrap up their speeches next is devendra gaud many people says that 65 years in history of a nation is not a long journey i beg to differ with them sir 65 years is a reasonable journey in history of any nation and these 65 years are sufficient to achieve the basic goals of any nation but unfortunately we are still struggling with universalization of elementary education fail to provide basic health facilities to poor and drown trodden there is malnourishment and among the poor there is gender disparity mortality and morbidity rates are very high there are regional disparities there is growing discrimination on the basis of caste and region poor are becoming poorer and wealth is concentrated in handful of people the sc st obc minorities and other poorer section of the people are denied of their due and legitimate share there is a very very dangerous trend the gap between shining india and suffering india is growing growing up our constitutional makers had clearly demarcated power and responsibilities in the form of federal structure but in spite of this there is concentration of power at the center everybody is looking towards delhi for each and everything corruption is growing in country by leaps and bounds there is no accountability such democracy without accountability is a con contradiction in values 
I don't want to see the parliament become a rich man's house. It should not become a adda for anti-social elements and gongs. And equal the chamber should not subsode the vested interest. Otherwise, it will shake the foundation of our constitution. Now, Professor Amma Swaminathan. The first, our independence was born in the backdrop of the Great Bengal Famine, where over two million children, women and men died out of hunger. Therefore, Mahatma Gandhi said at Nokali that to those who are hungry, God is bread. And the first and foremost duty of independent India is to ensure that this God of bread resides in every home and hut. Today, in contrast, 60 years later, Parliament is examining a National Food Security Act, which is designed to make access to food a legal right. When passed and implemented, we will be operating the world's largest social protection measure against hunger with the help of the wheat, rice, millets, etc. grown by our own farmers. This, Mr. Chairman, represents a historic transition. Sir, I will mention one more, uh, one more significant contribution of parliamentary democracy is the pan-political support extended to science and scientists. Now, Sri Bharat Kumar Raut. Sir, this parliament has passed many path-breaking uh, legislations which were instrumental in, in India's socio-economic progress. Whether abolition of private purses, nationalization of private banks, rural guarantee scheme, or right to education. Sir, then the question arises, why there is a criticism that people have started to be disillusioned about the parliament and they, uh, they now think that the system and working of parliament is becoming irrelevant. So the reason is that we as parliament have not been able to reach out to the people and educate them about working of the parliament and its system. Thank you, Sri Bharat Kumar Rao. Next, Honorable Dr. Karan Singh. How many minutes? Father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, who introduced the whole concept of mass involvement and democratic functioning in the country. And now we find we are moving more and more towards an inclusive polity in this country, where every single citizen, wherever he may be, in the vastnesses of of, of uh, Arunachal or in the snows of Ladakh or in the beautiful islands of Lakshadweep, every single individual now has a stake in our democracy. Mr. Vice Chairman, it is also a day for introspection. Are we upholding the high standards of behavior and poverty which the people of India expect from us? Are the disruptions of parliamentary proceedings from time to time including the sacrosanct question hour, not stalling serious debate on crucial issues and long pending legislation? Are we by our individual and collective actions sometimes eroding not only our own credibility, but that of the parliamentary system itself? Quite clearly, there is scope for improvement. There is scope for electoral reform. There is scope for modifications in parliamentary procedures and practices. There is scope for further strengthening the committee system. The committee system now enables us to look much more deeply into the budgets, into the reports, into the functioning of various wings of government. Sir, my own association with parliament goes back 45 years. In 1967, when I joined the union cabinet. Overcoming all challenges, we have to build an India that is truly great, great in economic strength, and that is growing day by day, great in political influence, which is also growing, but above all, sir, great in moral and spiritual stature. That is the true civilizational role of India. Sir, I will end with an ancient prayer. Sahanavavatu, sahanau bhunaktu, sahaviryam karvavahe, tejasvinavadhi tamastu, Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you
और इसके बाद दिखाएंगे आगे का वाद विवाद वी पास लॉ वी एक्सपेक्ट दीपल टू फॉलो दो बट वी एज ए पार्लियामेंट वी आर एवरी डे ब्रेक द डिस्टर्बेंस ऑफ हाउस वॉट इज दैट वी आर गेट फ्रॉम डिस्टर्बिंग द हाउस वट डू वी गिव अप द क्वेश्चन आवर्स इज इट गोइंग टू हेल्प द पीपल we sit for 60 days or 40 days and 50 days out of that 30% of the time we are wasting break ke baad aapka swagat hai aap dekh rahe hain hamara khas karyakram sansadiya vivad vivad sansad ki pehli baithak ke 60 saal ke mauke par sansadon ne jahan ek aur atmanthan kiya chintan kiya wahi dusri or is baat ko lekar bahut gehri chinta jatai ki sansad mein baithakon ki sankhya lagatar kam hoti ja rahi hai Honorable Dr. Najma Abdullah. Honorable Vice Chairman Sir, today when I stand here to speak on the occasion of the 60th anniversary of our Parliament, a lot of thoughts are going through my memory lane of the 30 years that I have spent in this house, out of which 17 years in the chair, which you are adorning today. There was a time when party, one party, ruled the centre. and most of most the state now the time has changed there is coalition culture and states are governed by different regional parties in such a situation the role of rajya sabha becomes more important in articulating issues pertaining to the state rajya sabha sir has not remained content with its role merely as a revisory chamber in a number of cases it has in fact asserted itself rajya sabha was able to introduce amendments in the constitution 45th amendment bill in 1978 which was accepted by lok sabha and it became the constitution 44th amendment act 1978 since the inception of the rajya sabha in 1952 women members whether they were elected to the house or nominated by the president of india have endearingly demonstrated through their talent and ability their role as legislator in fact out of 14 private members bill and resolution adopted in that in house at least seven of them have been moved by women members of parliament so do rajya sabha does not have much role regarding money and certain categories of financial bills however most of the outstanding finance minister the rajya sabha has provided rajya sabha has given many prime minister to the country as i mentioned shrimati indira gandhi was a member of this house hd deve gowda shri ik gujral and dr manmohan singh when our parliament was attacked by the terrorists and the future of some of us including the democracy looked in peril the unarmed rajya sabha security officers to save this temple of democracy i salute their memory one of them was my personal security officer sir at the end i am reminded i do not know have we come up to the expectation of the nation which expects much more perhaps much more out of our deliberation and contribution but i am reminded of a famous couplet of dr sir mohammad iqbal who said khud hi ko kar baland itna ke har taqdeer se pehle khuda bande se khud puche bata teri raza kya hai dr ashok ganguly it is a great honor to be nominated by the honorable president of this country and the leaders of the political parties since i come from no political angle and i am of no political utility i greatly value their friendship their camaraderie and they are making us feel like we are one of them there is a growing section of our community their definition in hindi ati garib they have no access to food nutrition or to civilized society when people do not have access to food the hunger pangs reduces them as human beings continuous and prolonged hunger plans leads to mental degeneration mortality 
and hopelessness that you and I can't imagine. Ati garibi hatana. It is our responsibility. Now, uh, Shri D. Raja, under the leadership of Comrade Indrajit Gupta, the Parliament Committee discussed the question of electoral reforms and the policy of state funding on elections. I think the time has come. The government will have to take note. Political parties will have to take note that India needs a comprehensive electoral reform including the proportional representation system and state funding of elections. Comrade Bhupesh Gupta, speaking in this very house, referred to certain extraordinary situations which can pave the ground for the emergence of extra-constitutional authority. We should strengthen the federal governance of our country, federalism, secular democracy, social justice, and above all, equality, which one can refer to socialism. And Ambedkar believed that uh, <coughs> India could be changed, our society could be changed uh, through peaceful parliamentary constitutional methods. We have been enacting very uh, large number of legislations for the common good of the people. At Thank the you. same Thank time, you very much. the poverty, inequality, injustice, backwardness, continue to haunt the whole nation unless the parliament spends its valuable time to deliberate on these issues. So I think parliament has to work for more number of days compar in comparison to what we are doing today. Thereby, we all have the common responsibility to strengthen this parliament as institution, improve the functions of parliament in the coming days, in order to give confidence in the minds of the people that parliament responds, parliament is sensitive to their concerns. Now, Honorable Shri K. Rahman Khan. 2067 members from 52 to now have served this parliament and with dignity. And almost 161 nominated members from district fields of expertise we have also served in this parliament. Parliament is a supreme institution which represents the collective will of the people. No other organ of the constitution represents the will of the people and are directly accountable to the people. There are certain far-reaching events have happened. I consider the direct telecast of the parliament is a very important event. What are we are doing is watch not by few members who are sitting here. Sometimes there will not be attendance. Sometimes we will be talking to empty benches. But still, the whole nation, millions and millions of people are watching us. So we should be very careful. The another important thing, as all other my colleagues have said, the evolution of the committee system. Every legislation, every bill which is introduced is go under the scrutiny. Our committee functions in such a way that we develop a consensus. So the, the law which now we are passing is not the law of a party in power. Yes, they have majority, they have bulldozed it. That is not the law we are passing today. We are passing the law with deliberation, with careful scrutiny and also with consensus, because most of the recommendations of the standing committees are unanimous. We pass law, we expect the people to follow those laws. But we as a parliament, we are every day breaking the rules. The disturbance of house. What is that we are get from disturbing the house? Why do, why do we give up the question hours? Is it going to help the people? We sit for 60 days or 40 days and 50 days. Out of that, 30% of the time we are wasting. So you, if you get 100 days, again 30% will be lost. Why do we? So let us first make use of the, the number of days we are working. And then I fully agree, I endorse that there should be more than 100 days. We have deliberated here in this house. A private member bill was introduced that the minimum number of the uh, sitting should be 100 years, 100 days. Our failure to perform and to make the executive accountable 
will lead to judicial activism, will further erode the authority of the parliament. If we do not realize our faults, failures, then people will force to come to the street. Our role in Rajya Sabha is, is not what we are performing today. We are a revising chamber. The very creation of the Council of State is to strengthen our federal structure. Be a watchdog to the, protect the rights of the state. Keep check on hasty legislation. I hope we rise up to the occasion and earn the people's goodwill and the, to our parliament. अगर पिछले छह दशकों की बात करें तो पूरी दुनिया का भूगोल बदल गया है बहुत सारे जगहों पर राजशाही खत्म हुई लोकतंत्र आया बहुत सारे जगहों पर लोकतंत्र चरमरा गया और राजशाही आई या तानाशाही आई लेकिन भारत में लोकतंत्र कायम है और लगातार मजबूत होता जा रहा है संसद की एक बड़ी सफलता है लेकिन संसद के समय बहुत सारी चुनौतियाँ भी हैं उसको पार करने के लिए क्या क्या कुछ खास करना है ये सारा हम दिखाएंगे अगले अंग में फिलहाल यहीं तक धन्यवाद चुनाव लड़ने के बाद हम जीत जाते हैं और सबसे पहला काम क्या करते हैं कि चुनाव आयोग के सामने खर्च का हिसाब किताब देते हैं चुनाव के लिए धन सफ़ेद नहीं होता जिस लोकतंत्र की शुरुआत झूठ से होती है जिस लोकतंत्र की शुरुआत काले धन से शुरू होती है वो लोकतंत्र कितना सफल होगा इसलिए चुनौती है इकट्ठे बैठकर इसका कोई रास्ता निकाला जाए